Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on digital signal processing. In this video, we will consider the concept on or the numerical on analog low pass Butterworth filter. It has been given to design an analog low pass Butterworth filter that has minus 2 dB or better at frequency of 20 radians per second and at least minus 10 dB of attenuation at 30 radians per second. So with that let me plot the graph of a low pass Butterworth uh, filter uh, with respect to 20 log h of j omega with respect to omega. Uh, it's been given that kp equal to minus 2 at 20 radians per second and ks is equal to minus 10 at 30 radians per second. So with this how shall we proceed further? Uh, I, I express that there are four ways to solve this numerical, four steps. Uh, we'll consider those four steps and uh, we can solve this numerical uh, very easily. So I recommend you to watch the video of uh, steps involved in the design of analog low pass filter so that once we know that we can solve any numerical on that. This is just uh, one of the numericals uh, to get uh, acquainted with uh, low pass Butterworth filter. So what is the first step? The first step says uh, find the order of the filter. Order of the filter can be found uh, which is equal to which uh, uh, which is represented as n and that is equal to we know that we have the formula for this that is log of 10 to the power minus kp divided by 10 minus 1 this gets divided by 10 to the power minus ks divided by 10 minus 1. So this is there in the numerator. So this gets divided by 2 log omega p by omega s. So this is the formula to find the order of the filter. So now we have got all the things that need to be substituted in this uh, uh, formula so that we can find the order of the filter. So logarithm of 10 to the power minus kp. What is kp? kp is minus 2. Minus of minus it becomes uh, plus 2. 2 by 10 is nothing but 0 0.2. So it is 10 to the power uh, 0 0.2 minus 1 divided by 10 to the power minus ks by 10. What is ks? ks is minus 10. Uh, minus of minus it becomes plus 10 divided by 10 it is 1. So hence it is uh, 10 to the power 1 minus 1. So this is there in the numerator. So in the denominator we have the term like uh, 2 log uh, omega p by omega s. Yes. So let me write 2 log. So what is omega p? Omega p is 20 and omega s yes is uh, 30. Uh, 20 by 30 I am going to get it as uh, 2 by 3. So kindly make use of the calculator and uh, uh, solve this. And I just want to make sure that this, this is the logarithm of the base 10. So it is not a natural log, it is logarithm of the base 10. So therefore n is equal to what I am going to get. So if you make use of the calculator, we are going to get n is equal to 3.3709. So we are going to get n is equal to 3.3709. But I we know that we need to under we need to uh, round n or uh, n round off n to the next larger integer. So 3.3, .3, the next larger integer is a 4. So be careful, uh, we may choose n equal to 3, that is not right, but we have to round it off to the next larger integer, therefore n becomes uh, 4. So this is the order of the filter. So once we have decided that the order of the filter as 4, the, we have to move on to the second step. Second step says that we need to find the transfer function. The transfer function of the normalized Butterworth filter. So let me write transfer function. So in the next step we are finding the transfer function. Transfer function of normalized normalized Butterworth filter. Butterworth filter for the order of 4. For the order of n equal to 4. So what do you mean by normalized? I said uh, normalized means I make cutoff frequency omega c is equal to 1. That is very important. So now I have to find the h4 of s. I need to write the transfer function h4 of s is equal to. So how do I write h4 of s is equal to? So this can be written uh, based on the Butterworth polynomial for n equal to 4. So we all know that uh, Butterworth polynomial uh, for n equal to 1, 2, 3 
till 4 we remember the values so once we know once we remember the values depending on those values i can now write the polynomial so what is that equal to h4 of s is equal to for the order of 4 s square plus 0 0.765s plus 1 and uh, we also have into bracket s square plus 1.817s plus 1. So this is the formula to find the transfer function h4 of s. Next task, this is the second step. Then we have got the third step. What is the third step? Third step is to find cutoff frequency. To find cutoff frequency. What is the cutoff frequency represented as? It is represented as omega c. And uh, how do I find the answer for this? For this we have the formula omega c equal to and we know that there are two formula to find the cutoff frequency uh, to do uh, meet the requirement uh, of pass band exactly and to meet the requirement of stop band very much exactly. So what is given in the numer numerical? Uh, they say nothing is given uh, as such uh, to meet the requirement whether to meet the requirement in pass band or stop band. They haven't said anything hence uh, I can take uh, the first formula that is um, let me write that omega p is equal omega c is equal to omega p uh, divided by 10 to the power minus kp divided by 10 minus 1 whole thing whole thing to the power 1 divided by 2n so this is the formula to find the cutoff frequency uh, to meet the passband uh, requirement exactly so let me write uh, to meet to meet passband requirements to meet passband requirements exactly so this is the formula to find so what do i get now so let me just put the all the values that i have what is omega p omega p is be given as the 20 radians per second so put it as 20 uh, that gets divided by 10 to the power minus kp divided by 10 kp is minus 2 minus of minus it is plus 2 divided by 10 is nothing but 0 0.2 minus 1 uh, to the power 1 divided by 2n n we got it as 4 4 into 2 it becomes 8 so kindly again make use of the calculator and this is just a simple, simple substitution you'll get the answer for that if you solve it using calculator i'm sure you are going to get it as uh, 21.3868 so this is again in the units of radians per second so this is how i find the cutoff frequency omega c so make sure you are getting this uh, answer omega c everyone uh, is uh, 21.3868 uh, radians per second is that okay so once we get omega c uh, we are done with third step and we'll move on we'll uh, find we'll move on to the last step uh, that we need to find uh, the transfer function of the required uh, uh, specifications with the with the given required specification so what i have to do i need to apply i need to apply low pass to low pass I need to apply low pass to low pass frequency transformation. Low pass to low pass frequency transformation. Therefore, I get the desired frequency transformation. Let me write it as H A of E S, which is equal to H four of E S. Uh, what did I uh, what did I uh, what change I have to do I need to replace every s with s divided by omega c omega c is 21.3868 so this is what I have to do are you getting this next question is why have to uh, replace s with s divided by 21.3868 the answer is very simple because whatever the transfer function we have designed uh, we have got answer over here it is for the normalized cutoff frequency that is omega c equal to 1 but now we got the omega c as uh, this much so i have to replace that with uh, s with s by 21.3868 for a low pass butterworth filter so if i do that i get the answer straight away
so for that uh, let me write the final h4 of yes which is equal to 1 this gets uh, divided by uh, what is the answer now so let me write that uh, initially I had s square s square is nothing but uh, now it gets replaced with s divided by 21.3868 as well uh, square s square plus uh, we had 0.765 uh, yes yes now gets divided by uh, replaced by s divided by uh, 21.638 correct plus 1 so this is what we had uh, this also gets multiplied uh, with a square a square is now being replaced with s divided by 21.38 square plus uh, 1.847 1.847 s so s gets uh, replaced with s divided by 21.38 so this is what we have plus 1 so now uh, it is there in the factored form what we need to do is we need to get it in the terms of s square plus s plus 1 or we can one can keep the answer in this form as well that is also fine if you find it is uh, if you find it is uh, very much uh, difficult to solve this factorization you can keep the answer something like this so finally i will write ha of s yes. this is the transfer function with the desired uh, frequency specifications and just take the lcm and solve it you are going to get it as uh, 209 Point two one into ten to the power three. That gets that gets divided by uh, in the new in the denominator we have uh, these terms. That is, uh, we have a square plus sixteen point three six s three six s plus four fifty seven four fifty seven. 0.39 so this is what we have in the first bracket in the second bracket similarly we also have a square plus 39.51s plus 457.39 so this is what we have in the denominator so this is how i designed the transfer function uh, of a low pass butterworth filter with the given frequency specifications so this is what the final transfer function is i explained this numerical everything in step by step hope you people have understood if there are still any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section and i would definitely address those uh, uh, doubts meanwhile subscribe to our channel ng classes for more videos on digital signal processing uh, thank you everyone for watching